and of course, where we will be doing a lot of our saving is inside of academic journals. And so I've typed in my dissertation topic. It was long ago, but it still brings back memories. And so I went to my dissertation topic. I found an article. Here it is, locus of control as the predictors of vocational outcome expectations. If I save this page, it's just going to save the record of this article. It's not actually going to save the PDF, which I want to. So I'm going to click over here on PDF full text. And then we'll see up here, I have the option to save to Zotero. I'm saving that to my library. And then what it saved is the name of the journal article, the journal it's from, the author's names, all the information we would want to be able to cite it, to be able to include it in our bibliography, all those great features. But it also has saved the PDF file itself. Now, the big advantage of that is the PDF file is now collected with all the other information that I need. And then it'll sync across any different computers I'm using Zotero on. I'll have it available to me. However, you're going to notice the more and more that you do that, the bigger your storage size that you need to save stuff on Zotero gets. And you might find yourself getting out of the free zone and into the paid zone. So you could just opt to save the information, but not save the PDF. So let's go into our Zotero and look and see what happened here. So we can see that it's here with the link to the full article. And we could easily go and cite to it as well. Now let's decide that maybe we didn't want to keep the PDF here. I can come in here and I can delete it. And I still have the information about this journal if I want to cite from it. So I don't have to keep the PDF in there. That's my complete choice. I like to do it. I pay again the $20 a year. So I'm going to go back and save it from that link. I've got the information about the article and I've got the PDF as well. The information that I'm going to need.